If you want great looking photos of your sketchbook, planner, or art journal pages to post on social media, publish in magazines or books, use in videos, or repurpose into other art projects like high resolution art prints or printable digital downloads, then you're in the right place because today I'm going to show you how easy it is to photograph your sketchbook pages just with your smartphone camera. Hey, I'm Lisa Sonora, founder of Visual Journal Studio, and I teach visual journaling as a creative outlet that supports your well being and helps you make meaningful art. This is how I photograph my sketchbooks. And you can see here, the main thing is to get a source of natural light. So I position my sketchbook in front of the window on a low table, and underneath the sketchbook, I place a piece of large blank white paper. You can use a piece of poster board for this. It works really great. What you're seeing here is the view from my iPhone finder. And you want to position your phone so that it's level right above your sketchbook so that you're not getting any weird distortions or angles. You'll notice that there's quite a strong shadow at the bottom part of the sketchbook. So let me show you how to fix this. There's also a distortion with the left um, side of the pages because there's fewer pages on that side. So what I'm going to do is find a small book that will just raise up that cover on that side so that it's more level. This is how I level out my pages and you can do this on either side of the sketchbook so that it gives you a more even look to your pages. And let me show you how to get rid of that shadow next. So what you'll need to get rid of the shadows is a desk lamp. And I've got mine propped up on my office chair. And you want to aim the light directly at the shadow and not really aim the light right on top of the sketchbook page. And you'll probably have to move the lamp around a little bit just to get the right look. So I'm just showing you how I'm moving the lamp around just so that it brightens up the shadow a little bit. I've also noticed something else that I'm not liking here, which is the bookmark and the band that holds the book together showing on the right. So I'm going to tuck that in before I take my final photo. So I'm adjusting the light here and just finessing it a little bit. And then I'm going to make sure that there's no distortion before I take the picture. If you're curious how visual journaling can help you make more meaningful art and support your well being, then I'd love to send you my free illustrated visual journaling guidebook. It uses images that you saw in this video at the beginning, photographed from my own visual journal pages. So check out the description below and you can download that for free. Thanks so much for watching today's video on how to photograph your sketchbook pages with your phone. If you liked it, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos like this one.